Welcome to Tsukiji Fish Markets in downtown Tokyo. What we got here is a pretty nice fish market if I do say so myself. We got some fishmobile photo ops and some top-notch seafood around this place and personally, I think it's pretty damn nice. So you better grab a treat and you best be taking a seat because the show is about to begin. What's up everybody, Dustin here from Solo Travel Blog. Today I'm here with Michael from The Proper People and a kind-hearted person named Sarah. How you feeling, Sarah? I'm feeling alright. There's, there's a lot of stuff going on here, it's pretty exciting. <laughs> nice. How are you feeling, Michael? Feeling pretty good, I'm ready to cruise and peruse around here. Alright, let's do this thing. So we started sprinting around the main streets of Tsukiji, came across some public service announcements, and decided to take a closer look. Now this sign told us to watch out for the fishmobiles, but we pretty much already figured that one out. I mean, hey, when you see these bad boys making a beeline down the street, it doesn't take a damn rocket scientist to figure out you best be making way. So what other signs we got around here? We got a PSA with a mighty fine whitey. I mean, take a look at that Aryan unicorn. He's asking to hold a samurai sword? What the hell's going on around here? I feel like that sign is perpetuating negative stereotypes against whiteys. Nevertheless, that's a decent sign right there. Anyway, Michael, Sarah, and I decided we'd best be boosting around this fish market to find ourselves something to eat. Now, we didn't walk far before we came across some dead fish hanging around the place. Wasn't exactly what we were in the market for, but at the same time, we didn't want to pass up an opportunity for a nice fucking selfie. A dead fish head selfie, to be exact. I mean, hey, there ain't no better way to pay your respects to a rotting, severed head than to snap yourself a nice fucking selfie. That's what I always say. Anyway, we hadn't quite found ourselves a suitable snack, so we started sprinting around the place again. Next thing we knew, we came across this guy torching some scallops to Kingdom Come. I mean, wow, this guy was going hog wild with this torch. He was blasting those bad boys like there's no tomorrow. And the next thing we knew, it looks like we stumbled across the fish on a stick zone. This place has got a whole bunch of fish on a stick and some shrimp being grilled to perfection. If I didn't know any better, I'd say we just died and went to seafood paradiso, baby cakes. So I figured I'd get myself a nice unagi stick, aka eel stick. Now that unagi stick wasn't quite life-changing, but nevertheless it was pretty fucking nice, if I do say so myself. Next up, Michael and Sarah got in on the action and they started chowing down on those fish sticks like a wild man and woman possessed. I mean, just look at Sarah biting into this fish stick. You can actually see an animalistic urge taking over her body. I like it. And wow, she actually liked the fish stick. This is fucking incredible. Anyway, that fish stick didn't quite sate our hunger, so we started cruising around looking for some more things to chow down on. And the next thing we knew, we came across a sushi shop that had some mighty fine signage. The place had a picture of a well-fed Japanese dude proudly cutting into a tuna fish's body. I mean, if that ain't the sign of a primo establishment, then I don't know what is. Long story short, we decided to go inside this joint. So we sat ourselves down, ordered up some sushi, and started taking a look at this TV screen over here. Now, I ain't no aficionado, but it seems to me that this sushi maestro has some serious tuna carving skills popping off. Anyway, after we chilled out there for a while, our sushi came out, and as you can see, I got myself three choice pieces over here. It's three of my favorite kinds of sushi, to be exact. I got myself an uni, an aji, and a hotate. So I started off with the uni first, aka sea urchin, and I slammed that bad boy down the hatch. It was tasting fresh as hell and creamy as fuck. Next up, I grabbed myself the Aji, aka horse mackerel, and started dipping that thing into the soy sauce rice first, just because I wanted to trigger any of the sushi Nazis that were watching this video. And wow, that Aji was tasting zesty fresh with that delish ginger paste on top. Last up, I made a feverish grab for that Hotate, aka scallop sushi. 
Then I gave it a dip, jammed it in the general direction of my face, and had a pretty nice foodgasm, a decent foodgasm. Anyway, after we finished chowing down, we were feeling all seafooded out, so we decided to hightail it the hell out of that sushi restaurant. Oh, and by the way, if you want to see some pretty thrilling abandoned building tours, then you best be checking out the channel that Michael's a part of, a little thing called The Proper People. In my opinion, it's pretty fucking buck wild, and I got that link in the description box. And as always, thanks for watching this video. Why don't you leave a comment? Let me know what you think.